this video, we are going to show Studio One users Revoice Pro's fastest and most automatic method for aligning and tuning multiple tracks of audio at the same time, and for creating double tracks. Let's show you how fast this is, and after that, we'll explain some important operational details. First, let's play the audio we are working with in Studio One. My heart is in motion. Nothing, nothing can save it. Nothing, nothing at all. So, so twisted and broken, broken lost in the storm. In tracks one, two, and three, we have a lead voice and two doubles of the lead that are not tight and that could use some tuning. In track four, we have a harmony which we would like to double. Let's fix all that. I'm first going to tighten the lead doubles to the lead voice. We simply select all the events in these three tracks. Go to the Edit menu and press Copy. Go to Revoice Pro. Go to the Revoice Pro Edit window. Select Paste Quick APT. We will discuss what has happened in the Revoice Pro window later, but the main thing is the audio in tracks 2 and 3 have been aligned to track 1 and are ready to be put back into Studio One. In Revoice Pro, we just need to click Edit and copy all process outputs. Then we go back to the Studio One Edit menu and click Paste at Original Position. And you can see the two output tracks from Revoice Pro have been copied back to the tracks they came from in Studio One. Now let's listen to that. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. So you can hear that those tracks two and three have been aligned in time and pitch to the lead voice in track one. We can also create a stereo harmony double track the same way. Let's listen to the harmony. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. To create the double, we again click Copy, go to Revoice Pro, select Edit, Paste Quick Doubler, and now we have the output harmony created. We can select Copy All Process Outputs, Go back to Studio One, click Edit, Pasted Original Position. And you'll see it's actually pasted over the Harmony track it came from. All we have to do is drag that down. And the next time we create a double from the same track, it will go to this new track. Let's listen to the Harmony input and output together. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So that sounds great. Let's listen to all the process tracks together. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So twisted and broken. Lost in the storm. You might hear there's some things we'd like to correct in the lead and double tracks of the lead voice. So you're probably wondering if you can manually modify the pitch and timing and also wondering how does Revoice Pro know what processing settings to apply? Let's answer these questions by going through the quick processes in more detail and show you how to control and modify these amazing automated operations and get exactly what you want. Let's go back to the quick APT, which stands for Audio Performance Transfer Process in Revoice Pro. We've gone back to the original audio in Studio One and we'll repeat creating the quick APT function. Simply grab these tracks. Now I'll hit Command C, which is copy in the Studio One. Go to Revoice and edit Paste Quick APT. Let's look at this in more detail. What you see is the original audio has gone from track one, two, and three in Studio One to track one, two, and three in Revoice Pro. We've also named the tracks using the file name and created two output tracks for each of the APT outputs. 
and also created groups where we can select the guide input and the dub, which means the input tracks. And you can see we soloed them with the group function. And that means we can listen to the before signal. My heart is in ocean. In Revoice Pro, or listen to the output. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. What is important to know is that the processing uses settings from a preset that you can save as a user default. You can see the processing settings for each APT process by clicking this green bar and pressing the P key. This brings up the control panel for that APT. And you can see here we have timing and pitch selected, so we're actually correcting those. Now the preset we're using for this vocal slightly lose time and pitch. These settings show that we don't have the tightest time or pitch. We have a timing tolerance of 33 milliseconds and a pitch tolerance of 2%. You can examine this control panel and look at more details, but the important thing is that if you want to use this preset with the quick APT function, you need to save the preset you want as the default user preset and then that will be used every time you use the quick APT function. The output tracks are what is copied back to Studio One. One of the most important features of Revoice Pro is that you can modify the input lead vocal manually, and those modifications will be automatically transferred to the other tracks via the APT functions. Let's show you some of the amazing things you can do with this. Firstly, let's change the pitch and time of some of the notes in the guide and hear what happens in the output tracks. If we click this button, we can make the first track the full height and turn off the other tracks so we can listen to it. This energy display we can reduce very easily so we can see the pitch traces. Use the T key to expand the audio. And now we want to click Edit Audio and Make Warp Function. What this has done is now analyze the timing and pitch of the signal and will show pitch blocks and what we call non-voice blocks, which include sibilants like S sounds. If we insert a playback range, we can listen to the first part of this signal. My heart is an ocean. Now, what we'll do first is listen to these notes here. Notion, notion. Now this sounds too flat, so let's move that up. Notion. And that makes a much more acceptable melody. Another more radical trick is to listen to the beginning. My heart is a no And let's modify it by changing this first note to something significantly lower. My heart is an ocean. Let's put a little smoothing on that. My heart is an... Which sounds great. And let's listen what it's done to the other tracks. My heart is an ocean. So all the other tracks have been modified to match that. And we can do the same thing with timing. If we right click, you can see we have a warp point tool, which we'll select. And by clicking shift, we can drop some anchor points, some warp points, and now these two outside ones will anchor the ends so we can move the middle point and change the timing of that section. My heart is an ocean. My heart is an Or go the other way. My heart is an ocean. Just to show you what sort of things can be done and what gets transferred to the output tracks via the APT function. And down here you can see a display showing the amount of processing that's going on in the audio signal. So it helps you look for places where problems might be occurring by too much processing. I now want to focus attention on a new feature in Revoice Pro 3.3, which is the ability to edit the level of the audio. So let's listen to this section. Nothing can say. Now, there's a sibilant, which is S, that we want to reduce. So by pressing the S key on the keyboard, 
we go into a level display. Here's that sibilant. Holding down the Alt key, I can lower it 3 dB at a time. Now we can listen to it again. Nothing can say. Nothing can say. And if that's too much, just raise it. Nothing can say. And that makes it easy to go through your signal and correct sibilance and any other level issues that you want to correct. When you're done with that, you press the S key to go back to the pitch and time editing display. Now, if we go to displaying all the tracks, we've processed the, these tracks again. And this time, we've also processed the lead voice. So let's move all the processed audio back into Studio One. So we go Edit, Copy All Process Outputs. Now, before we paste those into Studio One, let's make layers of these tracks in Studio One in case we want to get back to the original audio. And now, when we go back to Studio One and paste at original position, we see that we've got our warped lead voice and the two output tracks. So let's now play those and just hear what we've got. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. So there we have all the processed audio back into Studio One. Let's also look at creating the double of the harmony. So we'll do that again quickly. We'll copy that, go to Revoice Pro, edit, paste quick doubler. And what we want to show you is if you click on this, you can press P to see the control panel for the doubler. And again, there are presets that you can choose from and also modify the settings in that. We won't make anything different, but we'll go back to Studio One and simply use pasted original to paste the harmony track. And again, we'll move that down here. Let's add in the harmony track and see how that all sounds. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. I hope this has given you some insight into using the Revoice Pro Quick APT and Doubler functions with Studio One. But we also recommend you watch the companion video on using the basic copy and paste functions if you need more control over the processing. Thanks for watching.